Something's going to happen. Something wonderful. It just never gets old, does it? There you go. <laughs> G'day, fans, and welcome to another exciting episode, if you want to call it that, uh, of Talk Nerdy to Me. Here we are on another wonderful Wednesday night. The curfew is still in place, the lockdown still in place, but, hey, hopefully you're joining us for a bit of fun, frolics, and a nerdy talk. And as always, I have to introduce my co-hosts. We've got Michelle joining us already, which is fantastic. Uh, my lads, how are we tonight? We'll say something. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're both doing non-verbal communication. Oh, um, um, is well, we'll there you go. <laughs> Hang on, don't talk over each other. You go. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> we're here. Can we're we... good. It's Wednesday. It's what can I say? Hump day, yep. apparently. Yeah. Hump day. Yep. Let's have a little NASA, shall we? Um, something I thought about recently. Um, it was about TV shows that have been remade and rebooted. And at face value, a lot of people look at the idea of remaking anything as being uh, akin to heresy. It's like, oh, my God, you can't remake that. It's an absolute classic. You know, it's going to upset all these fans and it's just going to cause enormous amount of grief. Now, whether it's a – even if it's like a continuation and a classic example, of course, we've got all Star Trek The Next Generation. So um, that was probably one of the first remakes of shows uh, that had a really, really big impact to the audience who were watching it. And, of course, there are a few success stories, like Twilight Zone, of course, has been remade. You know, you remade new stories and, and re given uh, a rebirth numerous times. I think they're up to their, first, their fifth incarnation currently. Um, Battlestar Galactica was another one that uh, had its run in the 70s and was remade in the early 2000s, and even though it upset a lot of the original fans, uh, it brought in a whole new audience, and at least it was a very, very successful show and a very popular show at the same time. Um, so I think there's a, a good school of thought to say that that was actually a very good, successful remake. Um, Lost in Space, the new version of that, uh, after almost four decades from the original show, uh, was released on Netflix. And I think for all the most part, it's actually been a very successful um, reinterpretation of the show with the same characters, with just different situations and, uh, uh, and it's going on. And to actually say, well, if you're going to remake a show, at least something, it's got to be something that people can really dial into and go, you know what, that's actually working for me. Um, and, of course, V, one of my favourites from the 1980s. Now, V, the weekly series, was horrendous, right? And I think everybody would agree with that. So when they remade that in the 2000s, the late 2000, 2012, or whatever it was, that at least was very, very successful. Uh, the miniseries from the 80s was successful, but the new series was very successful as well. They changed enough of it for it to work. And uh, providing you can switch your brain into new mode and accept the fact that these things are getting redone, then uh, the results can actually be very, very good. So I'd like to ask, put it out there, what people think about shows that could be remade. Now, I've come up with a bit of a list. I'll put it, I'll put it on to you guys in a sec. I've come up with a bit of a list of shows that I think could be remade and be very successful, along with shows that I think have no hope of being remade no matter what they do versus those that should never be touched. So, uh, and this is obviously for people out there who are watching this at the same time. I know I haven't given either of you two any sort of notification on this, but what are your thoughts at the top of your head about the idea of what show do you think could be remade? I'll start with you, EPS. Actually, no, I'll start with Jeffro. He's more the TV guy. Jeffro, what do you got, mate? I mean, it has to be something that has to be timeless enough to be able to be, um, to be able to be remade. So there's some shows that are just stuck in time. So, you know, they... Um, uh, yeah, I mean, they have to be sort of, in many ways, futuristic. So um, I'm thinking that um, I've seen a lot of these these uh, shows that have been made into movies, and, I um, mean, there's been various degrees of success. Uh, the one that I would look forward to is um, uh, something from, like, um, the really early times, like I like to be able to sort of see maybe something like um, Space Patrol, you know, a real 50s sort of flair. And there's been a lot of um, uh, uh, shows that have done homages to the 50s and, and that sort of thing. Um, I mean, things like Happy Days and all that. But I'd love to see a modern take of uh, Space Patrol 
because I think they'd be really campy and really fun. I don't know if they did it over the top. I think that would work really well. All right, so just to clarify a few things that because there's a lot of messages coming through. Um, Ange, you're right, Star Trek The Next Generation wasn't a remake of Star Trek, but it was a continuation, and it, for all intents and purposes was a reboot, if you will, uh, even though it was a continuation of the timeline. And I was there in the 80s when uh, Next Gen was coming out, and a lot of the fans weren't really into it at the time. It took a lot of years to get fan acceptance because at that point, Star Trek was the original series, the three um, – series uh, three seasons and that was it so that's what i meant by that um you're right someone has said about war of the worlds has had a few goes actually there's been a few remakes of that uh with varying degrees of success i'm specifically talking about tv shows that do not turn into movies okay so don't class anything saying it's a show make it as a film this is strictly tv show for tv show okay so i just want to emphasize uh that point um so there's a few suggestions coming through on here yeah, land of the giants that's interesting uh mps have you got anything you want to add in before i chuck in a list of what i think could do with a bit of a a, a redo <clears throat> yeah I, i'd go the other way i wouldn't say um futuristic I'd, I'd say more modern shows with that were modern at the time uh one show i would not reboot and we've mentioned this before is greatest american hero as much as i would love that you could never find anyone who's who plays a character that's naive about superheroes not in today's world anyway you, you, something else would have to change drastically uh, what that is i don't know um i would after seeing the a team movie i think the a team could be a good series to be popped up you know it's modern times it's it's easy it's it's baddie of the week sort of stuff uh i know they rebooted this in the early 90s in up in queensland that was mission impossible but i think again uh not necessarily with the tom cruise high high tech uh, but I still think a, a medium to, to high tech sort of value with uh, with um, mm -hmm. Mission Impossible because you could do so much more with mobile phones and all this micro spy cameras that are so microscopic it's not funny anymore. Um, Bewitched might be an interesting one with the times. You know, you've got modern technology and witchcraft that could be interesting to see. Yeah, but Charmed it was a witch show, so a lot of people. Yeah, it. they also yeah, did Charmed. Bewitched as a movie too, so that's. I know. I know, yeah, but, you know, that was some of those did at the time. And Charmed is a completely different beast to Bewitched because Bewitched is one person, uh, one family sort of thing, and Charmed, you need the three sisters, and it's Demon of the Week. Uh, and the other one I'd like to see in live action, I'm, I'm surprised Jeffrey didn't do this, it was it would be Thunderbirds with the original-looking well, vehicle. Done in, because it's, it's been done as a movie, so... Uh, I know it's been done as a movie, but as a TV series, I, I think yeah. there are other elements. I, I don't really like the the new series that they're doing of it because it's cg but it's it's the vehicles oh, it's all about the vehicles. yeah for me it's got to be the vehicles because they're the iconic structures uh in the series the people can change and all that sort of stuff you can add and subtract characters but the vehicles need to to be that that anchor there yeah, I put Thunderbirds in as a series that should not be remade. Uh, now, I know there are examples of shows that shouldn't, that have been, whether people like it or not, but I've got a listing, what I think are the ones that should just be left as is. And I think Thunderbirds, if you try to do a live action version, wouldn't work. Um, and you don't need another marionette version. It's already been done. So yeah. I cut Jeffro off. So what were we going to say, Jeffro? I wasn't going to say anything. Uh, if okay. there was one Jerry Anderson show that I think would do really well as a remake, um, I'd like to see Stingray. I think that would look really good. Because the thing about remaking a show is that it's all well and good to say, oh, we'll just do a new version of it. But it's got to be something that will work for a market, a modern-day audience, right? So a lot of things have to change. You can't just do a like-for-like -like remake. It's got to have something that will appeal to an audience. And for that reason, I think there are some shows that you go, you know what, you can't do it because now it's classed as unoriginal. It's been done in other programs uh, further along the line, and as a result, it just won't have any uh, pickup. So, um, and that's why I was saying, like, you're right, Bewitched and Charmed are completely different shows, but they have the, the strong witch theme, and anybody thinking, well, I'm going to watch a witch show, why would I watch Bewitched, a remake of that, unless you did something really radical with it, when you've got Charmed is full of witches. So that was where I was coming from. Um, so I'll give you a list of what I think uh, of the ones that could do with a remake. Uh, now, they have to be modernised, okay? It's important that you've got to modernise them, maybe make them a bit more adult and really, really delve into um, stretch it, pushing the envelope a little bit. Uh, I thought that um, Logan's Run, the TV series, would do well as a remake, okay? Providing you made it a bit more adult and you made the chasing by the runners, I think it's the runners. Um, so who, who, the runners and who are the people chasing the runners? Sandman. Uh, 
Sandman, you make that very, very hardcore, very, very serious. Maybe they run into different civilizations uh, and it's a bit more, um, it's a real fight for their lives sort of thing and it's a lot more uh, darker. I think if you did a dark version of um, uh, Logan's Run, the TV series, that could work uh, quite well. Um, I think it could certainly modernise Alien Nation, the, uh, especially these days, uh, with a whole lot of the racial tension that's going on in the world. And, of course, Alien Nation as a TV series was designed around how can you do racially motivated issues uh, without insulting anybody. Easy, create a brand new race of aliens and just make them the, the, the subject of the whole thing. I think Alien Nation could be remade, uh, mm. especially in the modern-day world, and do uh, quite well for itself. Although a lot of people will probably draw parallels and go, well, hang on, uh, I can't remember what the aliens were called. Do you remember Jeffro? Did they have a name at all? Yeah, I can't think of it. Uh, so, uh, some people may draw parallels and say, hey, the way they're treating these aliens is the way they're treating these minority groups in real life. And it could cause a few issues, but I think that'd be an interesting one. Um, this one may sound a bit weird, but I think if you were to try and redo Galactica 1980 and do it properly, um, and take out the flying motorcycles and all sort of truck, uh, it could do quite well because the concept of Galactica 80 was about an alien spaceship fighting the Earth as of today. Um, and I like the idea of that. I think that had a, a fair bit going for it. And it's like, okay, our technology is greater than what's on the Earth. How do we deal with it? What do we do? Do we just hide around in the darkness? And we've still got the bad guys chasing us. I think that if done seriously, uh, you change the name. You wouldn't call it Galactic or 80, obviously. You'd call it something else. You might even have to change the entire concept. But the, the idea, I think, behind it um, could uh, work quite well. Uh, newcomers, thanks, uh, Ange. Uh, newcomers, bloody obvious, isn't it, really? Uh, that was the name of the aliens from Alien Nation. I think a good TV series of Starship Troopers uh, would work well. Now, it probably has a lot of similarities to Space Above and Beyond, which I never watched. But uh, the idea that uh, if you have humans versus aliens who happen to be like an insectoid race, I think could actually quite work out quite well. It'd be very expensive to make. That's about the only downside. There was a TV series or an animated series made of Starship Troopers. It was actually quite good. That's where yeah. I had the idea for that. Um, I think uh, Space Above and Beyond, uh, funnily enough, I've put down, I think it'd probably do with a, a, a reboot. Blake 7, I think, could actually do very, very well revamped, redone, uh, mm. because the idea behind that was actually very, very popular. It has a very Firefly-type feel to it already, so some may argue it's a copy of Firefly, but um, I think an adult version of Blake 7, modernised, because Blake 7 obviously was a very, very dated for its time, uh, has the potential to do very, very well. Um, I did toy with the idea of UFO, the series from the 70s, modernise that, because that is so 70s, it's almost it's, it's very difficult to find a new audience. But the concept is very good. So you're a UFO fan, Jeffrey. What do you think of that, man? Yeah, I mean the um, the idea now that we've got all that technology, you know, it's sort of uh, for UFO, there's one space intruder detector that's that's circling around. So I mean, with all the uh, stuff up in space now, it's sort of a bit hard. They would have to probably reset it, sort of uh, further down the track. Speaking of resetting, there is discussion of resetting space 1999 as mm. space 2099 so you know because they can't obviously do 1999 yeah. that's been and gone set a hundred mm. years in the future and sort of reboot that but uh, yeah. uh your farming I mean, it would be nice but i think the original is so uh well loved i don't know how well it would go but um yeah we you might have changed that point point. yeah either you would change the name from ufo to something else so it's a bit more modern mm. um, aaron has asked a question about Quatermass, uh, as new as sci fi. I actually don't know much about Quatermass, uh, yeah. Aaron. I don't know if you do, uh, Jeffrey. Quatermass, can... Quatermass is a, a British uh, series written by Nigel Neal, and it started off uh, in in black and white in, on television and in movies. And then they did a, uh, a sort of a reboot uh, in the 80s, and that was very successful. But because it's basically he's a uh, very clever scientist dealing with things like supernatural and extraterrestrial uh, uh, problems, it, it would, I think it'd be very well suited. Um, I agree with you on this one, Aaron. Uh, UFO is iconic because of those, that look, and that's probably why you would have to change it to something completely different. So to keep the concept but change the name and don't call it UFO because you are right. There are things like that that people would be looking for, either that or you put them in. So uh, uh, there you go. And my last one, I thought it'd be interesting to do a modern version whether it be live action or CG, probably CG version of this would actually work quite well. And I think they've already done something similar was Battle of the Planets. I think uh, that'd be an interesting one to sort of redo, modernise it 
modernize it completely uh, and not make it so gatchaman ish as they did originally. Or follow the gatchaman concept. They Dude. did a live action film oh, yeah. several years ago, maybe eight years ago, and it kind of followed similar things, but again, iconic features like the suits weren't right and the, the ships weren't right. So they need to make that um, uh, closer to what the original version looked like. They've done, I think, five different animated versions of it. So, And I think maybe the last one was partial CG. But, yeah, an, an update with maybe an Americanized version, not so much the Japanese, but put the Japanese anime parts to it in their woodwork for a broader audience. Yeah, it is an interesting one because if you do have the Japanese version with all the violence and the nudity and all the rest of it, it may alienate a lot of people. But by the same token, this day and age, people are sort of getting used to uh, very adult-type um, CG uh, TV shows. So it might actually work, but you are right. Other versions have already been done. So it wouldn't probably work for an old audience who are fans of the original, but it may work for... Um, for new people um it's very interesting uh, daniel's listed quantum leap that is one of the shows i'd say you wouldn't touch i'd leave that as a uh, as a don't touch that at all that's uh, to be left as is auto well, man they're actually, uh, sorry they're actually looking at doing a reboot yeah uh, i don't with, care what people are looking at doing i'm talking about what we think so uh yeah. you are right some shows are being remade and they shouldn't be and some maybe but i'm just saying what we think so, yeah, uh, yeah I, I, I hear you because otherwise we could say, oh, someone's thinking of doing this and someone's thinking of well, doing I, that. Well, I think it could be interesting as long as you've got the two main leads, so Scott Bakula and, and, and that in there, otherwise it won't work. Yeah, see, I don't think it needs to be redone. I think the show was successful enough as it is. The two guys work very, very well together. Leave it, right? Uh, the only advantage to it is that I know you have to go back in the past and maybe the back in the past would be like five years ago. You know, a few years from now, you can go back to the COVID-19 era. Um, Kelvin has listed Auto Man. I think Auto Man has no hope of getting remade. It oh, is no. one of those shows that it's too old, too unoriginal, and unless it's aimed at a child's market, it just it's not going to work. So leave that as is. It's uh, it's had its time. So uh, I think it go. would work. I actually yeah. do think it would work. Your CG... It's so much easier to perform, and in course, you can do so many more things rather than. Yeah, but would it have an audience? I mean, it's not original premise. anymore. I mean, the premise yeah, is a bit ridiculous in this day and age. You yeah, know, I totally agree. Yeah, you got to think of who's going to watch it. You know, and it can't be old fans. It's got to go to a new audience because old fans will just look at it and go, "Nah, it's too different." So you got to try and get in a new audience. And if it's uh, if it's as I agree with Jeffrey, I think it's 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 past its prime. Back in the day, in the computers era, in the early eighties, sure. But these days. You know, a dude running around in a digital body, I don't think that's good, that would work. So uh, even though you're right, it would probably look fantastic. You know, it would probably be schmick as, but would it be enough to sustain, have sustainability? I don't know. Uh, what else have people got here? Ange, $6 million, man. No, you wouldn't touch that. Oh, even though yeah, they're, yeah. Talking, oh, no, they're, they're talking about $6 million. I know all that, right? I'm sticking with the shit that what we think, right? Don't touch the $6 million, man. It's perfectly okay the way it is, right? Oh, I dream of genie. Mork and Mindy, no, I wouldn't touch that either. Uh, I don't yeah. think you could ever replace Robin Williams. No. So, um, yeah, because you've got to remember, the producers out there will go, oh, this show was a huge success back then. Let's just remake it. And, of course, what happens, it ends up being a disaster and people hate it. That's why I think leave it to the fans to make these decisions. Mm -hmm. So there you go. Uh, Manimal, no, definitely not. Quark, uh, I don't know. Um, what do you reckon, Jeffro? It's so. really tricky to pull off um, uh, science fiction comedy. So yep. um, I don't think it would be worth doing. Yep. Uh, yep. Yeah. I mean, it was a product of its time. Um, but, uh, yep. yeah, no, I don't, don't think uh, we're ready for Quark again. Very good. Okay, so Williams touched on something that I was thinking of. So the ones that I think have got no hope of being remade, they're too old, too unoriginal. Man from Atlantis, I don't think. With Aquaman out now, you don't need it. It's, just, it's, it's had its time. Fantastic Journey was a show that I loved in the 70s. I don't think that would work as a remake at all. Uh, sliders, I think Sliders came and went. The idea of jumping into different dimensions and that, sort of been there, done that. I don't think that would work. Beauty and the Beast, been done too many times. I don't think that needs to be retouched, especially with the feature films and all the rest of it. You go, you know what? It's, it's Unless you do something really radical with the Beast, like really radical, not make him furry and fluffy and all that, he's a real bastard and he's a real prick and he's ripping people to bits, maybe you can get away with it, but... I wouldn't. A um, couple of these shows that you probably remember: Captain Power and the Soldiers of the Future, Powers of Matthew Starr and Jason of Star Command. I don't think any of those three have got any chance of getting redone. Uh, we've mentioned Auto Man. Yeah, I think that's got no hope. Starman, I don't think would work now. Um, the idea of an alien coming to Earth and is just like the best thing ever. I think it's all been and done. Um, here's one for Jeffro: The Highwayman. Remember that one, Jeffro? 
Oh, absolutely, with uh, Jacko, the uh, Aussie sort of um, yep, yep. front and centre. Yep, I think because of the movies, you couldn't do The Incredible Hulk. I think that um, yeah, that would be a bit of a tough sell now. And Ark 2, um, I don't think needs to be remade either. Um, I think Aaron has mentioned a couple of times Land of the Lost. You could do it. You can make your dinosaurs look fantastic and your and your creatures, but as to whether it would work, you know, the old family of young people stuck out and lost in a prehistoric sort of civilization. Oh, you know, I don't know if that would sort of work. You have to all trying to find a thorough movie, and that scarred me for life. Yeah, yeah, exactly right. So weary of what would work and what wouldn't. Sorry, dude, go for it. Say for Land of the Lost, you could do it. They have to just go to a different dimension and be basically taken away from technology. Be modern and then have to try and work you know live in in that sort of area you know but it has to be a different dimension it can't be on set sort of now um the other one i, I think would work would be land of the giants but again it, it needs to be set in a different dimension you know mm. you can't be on this earth and be someone small because the technology i don't know it, yeah. the, te the, the visuals would look awesome but it's just it wouldn't work on, on this plane essentially Yep, no, I agree with that. Um, young ones, yeah, you wouldn't touch that. The ones that I wouldn't touch, at least these currently, uh, a Firefly, you don't go near that. Uh, Knight Rider, I wouldn't touch that. Uh, Dan Daniel mentioned Babylon 5 earlier, definitely wouldn't touch that. Um, X-Files, stay, stay away from that. Uh, Quantum Leap, as I already mentioned, $6 million man, more committee. See, I don't know about remaking Space 1999, but I guess if you did it, maybe it would work, you know, futuristic version, Space 2099. Yeah, okay. It, I'll make it. it um, worked just like next generation. You know, you set it further ahead, so everything's a bit more. Uh, yep, yep, fair enough. Um, uh, I wouldn't do Stargate, SG-1. I'd leave that alone. Uh, Red Dwarf, definitely wouldn't touch that. Um, Elf, okay. I think that's that, that's a product of its time and should be left alone. And even though it's not strictly sci-fi, Kolchak, the Night Stalker, I don't think he would re remake. That's almost like the X-Files to a large degree. So um, they're the ones that I sort of thought of. And uh, I yeah. wouldn't remake any of the comedies like Happy Days or, or Laverne and Shirley because you, you won't be able to get the, the chemistry from any actors sort of nowadays. Um, yeah. yeah, you're absolutely right. And sometimes even though things are really old and outdated, that's what makes them work. You know, they came out yeah. of the right place at the right time for the right audience and for that reason... They, they do fit in that thing of being iconic, and if you try and replicate that, it doesn't work. Um, you wouldn't be able to get the Fonz character working nowadays because, you know, he yeah. was super cool. There's no one like that anymore. There's no – there's not even, like, a movie star who's like that where everyone goes, oh, my God, he's got the latest jacket. I've got to wear this. It's like no one cares. You know, so. The only way you could treat, cheat it is if you said instead of setting it in the 50s, you set it in the 80s. I'm not saying you should. Mm -hmm. But if don't try and replicate the fifty because the fifties was such a long time ago, most people don't even remember it, right? And yeah. you got to remember when they made the show in the seventies. It was only twenty years prior. Now it's fifty something years, seventy years prior. So uh, if anything, you could do an eighties version. Um, but as to you don't need it, that's for sure. Um, yeah. But that's about the only way you get around it. Uh, Daniel suggested Sequest. Yeah, I don't think Sequest could be remade. I think that's just had its time. And you know, as soon as the Nara one says, you know, talking dolphins and whatever, I think. Uh, yeah, although Journey to the Bottom of the Sea, oh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a tricky one uh, sometimes. So uh, there you go. I'll try to do the Terranova. Yeah, Greatest American Hero, don't touch that. I, I agree with you, MPS. I don't think it would work. I think uh, some things are just the concept. It wouldn't get an audience. People go, you know what, why are you doing that? It just, it's, yeah. it's not necessary. So if the anything you want to – sorry, go on. I was going to say maybe the only way that would work is if instead of having someone in the suit that's human – you have the alien come down and be in the suit and not know how the physics of, of this planet work. It's the only way I could sort of think that you might do it. And then you've got to have someone to train him in how this works, you know, up is down, down is up, all that sort of stuff. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. What do you think, Jeffrey? Looks like you're uh, contemplating things I, there. I think stay away from it. So, yeah, as I said, uh, no, don't even try and sort of think about it. Just, um, yeah, just some, some things sh shouldn't be re really touched. I agree. You know, you look at them for what they are and you go, I appreciate it for what it is when it was made and it works for me and just leave it alone. So, sorry, dude. Particularly if it's got an iconic status. I mean, it's not too bad if you pick something that's not really that well known, but if it's iconic, that's when it gets, that's when the trouble happens. 
See, um, Buck Rogers is one that I had a bit of a think about. The problem with Buck Rogers, it worked in the 70s, right, you know, the idea of a, a, a contemporary dude being sent into the future. But that's sort of been done a few times already. And now the problem with that is that that show was designed so that you send a contemporary cool dude to the future and everybody in the future are a bunch of morons and it's the cool dude who fixes everything. You know, he knows how to make disco music. He knows how to solve the day because everybody's got, like, you know, sticks up their asses and all this sort of shit, you know, in the future. And it's like the contemporary dude has to fix that. Now, that's actually already been done a few times in other shows. So I don't think you could actually do it now and get away with it and make it work. I was, just, I, was thinking, work uh, huh? I was thinking Farscape is the most recent one that sort of did that. Yeah. Well, actually, yeah, I had Farscape as being something that shouldn't be remade, so I think I just missed mentioning it. So, uh, yes. Dude? What about Flash Gordon? I know the premise is only a, a film and it doesn't really have a lot of legs to it, but if you expanded it and uh, maybe a mini series, you know, you've got a dude who gets oh, set somewhere else. They, they um, did do a mini series of that. Series series of that. Right? Yes, and it was horrendous, apparently. Yeah. So, <laughs> yes. yes, exactly right. So there are examples of horror stories of things that they did try and <laughs> didn't win there with. They didn't know what they were doing when they did it. Uh, or they just uh, just cocked it up from the outset. So, I mean, I, for example, uh, Lois and Clark, uh, I never watched it, but I thought the concept was quite good. Um, you know, Superman, his younger days and all the rest of it. I thought, yeah, that's, that doesn't sound too bad, and for all intents and purposes, it was actually quite successful. So, um, uh, yes. Yeah, so the funny, funny thing about Lois and Clark was prior to that, you had Superboy. So yeah. you already had Superman at his youngest point, then you had him go to the city, and then in Smallville you had him in the middle of those but without any superpowers which i thought was ridiculous because he was always had his powers in superboy so why would you not let him do everything um i like this comment from michelle this is an absolute yeah. what, what show are you watching michelle as if we were if we wouldn't even discuss little house on the prairie it wouldn't even come up on our radar so uh there you go oh golly 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 so there you go it's like saying, it's like saying if we remade who's who's the boss but i think it's got to have some sort of um, Fifty Shades of Grey theory to it, perhaps yeah. set behind it. Otherwise, what's the point? It's it's meant to be good, wholesome family fun. And who's the boss? Oh, she who now runs the household. Which yeah. So it, it, does, does, it doesn't work with contemporary shows because contemporary shows you can remake without a problem. We're talking about genre shows. They're a lot harder yeah. because they're easily identifiable as being a genre show. Uh, I mean, I'd argued a little while ago that the new version of Doctor Who, even though it's a continuation of the um, storyline, is almost classed as a reboot to a large degree because they just revamped it after like nearly 10 years of just like letting it just drop off and they just continued on the storyline similar to what they did with Star Trek. So um, so there are examples where it can actually work uh, quite well. So there you go. Uh, Dark Angel, that's an interesting one. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, it sort of has, it, I think it sort of did its day. Season one was the better of the two series and season two just made no sense whatsoever. So you've got to go really weird with it and we're covering it. Julian Assange pretty much did what he was doing in the film anyway, on the show anyway, you know, pulling out all this stuff about what's going on with the government and, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like the new the new MacGyver series. I'm not a fan of it. He's got a whole team oh, of people. Yeah. And he, does, he does all this other stuff and he kicks ass and everything. It's like, dude, you're not meant to be that good. You're meant to be smart, not uh, – and he's too young and uh, should have left yeah. that one well alone. Yeah, there you go. Uh, Michelle, you are right. It was actually a serial, not a series uh, of Flash Gordon um, from way back in the 30s. So there you go. Uh, and of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah, oh, yeah, and the Flash Gordon series, the CV series was in 2007. Yeah, I just heard really bad things about it. So there you go. Yeah, so it's interesting. But the bottom line is it does come down to there are some shows that probably could do quite well with a real kickstart, revamped, remodernised, just really, really sorted out and uh, could find a brand new audience and actually do quite well for themselves. So, um, and, there, and there are others that clearly just need to be left alone. Now, what the powers of B do, that's up to them. And if they're going to, like, make shows that you don't want remade, like someone mentioned Buffy being remade earlier, it doesn't need to be remade, but someone somewhere is saying it does, there's not much we can do about that. Nothing charmed is a similar boat. But us as fans can say, hey, leave those ones there, focus on these ones and see what you do with, uh, with all that. So... Very, very good stuff. So I think we should uh, wrap this up. Any final words from my lads? Don't try and remake us. We're classics. <laughs> oh, that would be. <laughs> yeah, imagine that a remake of Talk Nudy to Me with three other dudes. It's just like, uh, and, and more successful than we are too. 
you go. See, see Jeff Rose the classic, and I'm I'm the um the bootleg. So, you know, we talk action figures. <laughs> yes. Very, very, very good. So there you go. All right, so that's us for for tonight. Make sure you enjoy the rest of your week. So join us next week for a bit of Flash Gordon, a bit of and a bit of Snyder action, and uh, we'll leave it at that. So in the interim, make sure you all <gasps> stay nerdy. Okay. Stay nerdy. Okay. Er, boy. Yeah. Yeah.